This is going to be your weekly chakra energy check-in. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. We're going to take a look at the energies you may be experiencing throughout your chakras. So in the comments, please let me know your word of the day, word of the week, whatever is your current vibe. Now, as I'm filming this, it's a beautiful sunny day. It does feel nice today. You know, there's this element of growth and expansion, and that's because we have a Mars-Jupiter conjunction, which I believe happens every two years or so. You know, we have action, growth, change happening and also the moon is in Sagittarius so that means another dose of Jupiter so growth expansion topic of the day I will say this though you know communication is not easy right now Mercury retrograde is quite tricky so if you're feeling any tension in regards to communication you're not alone I'm also curious to know how many of you are feeling a little bit under the weather you know the last few days I've been hearing about a lot of people just not feeling well and the energy being intense feeling the need to rest, you know, we're kind of in this hangman energy I keep describing. I'm going to keep this card to see, there you go, Cherry, what does it say? Live an extraordinary life. We're trying to, <laughs> we are definitely trying to. This hangman energy is almost like a neither nor, you know, feeling a little bit stuck where, you know, we know we need to make moves at the same time. We're tired, <laughs> you know, we're tired. So it's okay to rest to get your clarity, you know, take a little break, but to live that extraordinary life, we've got to make some big moves, okay? Even if it's step by step and day by day, we got to make our way there. It's kind of like the cake analogy, which has been coming up a little bit lately again in my, in my readings. You know, this desire to get up the cake. And if you know the cake analogy, you know. If you don't, please go watch my video. You know, it explains how we get sparked, you know, and how we end up in situations where we've got to put ourselves first and make boundaries. But... I digress. This energy of making moves is very much the vibe right now. Step by step, day by day, you've got this. Now let's take some overall themes and messages for our chakras. And we have here Sapphire. Regenerate your body. See, that's my point. Regenerate your body. Okay, so if this means a little bit of a break, don't worry. Take that break as you need it. Brilliance. Discover your sparkle. I feel like this card comes out a lot when I'm using this deck. And with that, we have the brown energy, establish uh, boundaries. Isn't that funny? I just literally said this, you know, heal yourself, take a break, discover your sparkle. I mean, you are number one. You are the prize. You are the snack, right? We don't chase. We only attract. Um, and the brown energy, you know, establish those boundaries. You've got to stay true to yourself. That's the key right now. All right. So let's take a look at the Chakra Wisdom Tarot so we can get different messages for the chakras or energy centers in the body. And then we'll clarify with some oracle cards. So looking at the root chakra, we have here the Queen of Coins. Now, by the way, I was going to mention a moment ago and I forgot to that the blue in these cards represents a throat chakra. And I don't know if any of you have been having any issues with your throat. I know I did a few days ago. I had a very sore throat, like literally out of nowhere. And I've been healing that. But the blue energy is all about communication. And maybe there's this desire to communicate stability. You want stability. Queen of Coins could be your finances being something that's really come up lately or of importance. So let's see what we need to know about this. The Tower. How many of you have had a bit of a Tower moment? You know, where... You don't feel so stable. You want stability, but you just don't feel like everything is going that smoothly right now. It is a bit of a tense time, right? We know that. And with that, let's see what else we need to know. The corset. Oh boy. Holding everything together. What does this card say? Boundaries. Boundaries. You know, there's two sides to this corset card for me. And one is whenever I see it, I think something's about to burst. And that could very well be the tower energy here, right? But at the same time, this tower has beautiful sunshine, you know, where it's a new dawn, a new day. This also says boundaries in the sense of like, we've got to like maintain our boundaries. We are meant to be stable, happy, feel free, even, if that makes sense. You know, the queen of coins or queen of pentacles, she sits on her throne and she kind of just enjoys the moment. It's an energy of stability and enjoying her family, her home, the nice things, but she's also generous. It's like a very nice feeling. 
So let's take a look at the sacral chakra, which is Venus. This is self-worth, self-value, self-respect, how you love, how you spend money. Let's see. Five of Swords. Doesn't surprise me. Another kind of bluish card here, right? Five of Swords. This is about conflict, possibly having a headache. Now, again, I wasn't feeling well on the weekend, and I can tell you that I had a lot of headaches. I don't know about you, but the energy has been intense, a lot of inner conflict. And that card also tells you to put down the sword, meaning like, you don't have to always be fighting, right? And we have here the moon. Well, we have a full moon coming up actually on the 19th. Now, I'll talk about that in another video down the road, but I will say that um, this is tricky energy. You know, if you've been hearing all the astrologers talk about how, you know, the last two weeks of August are really difficult. Uh, yeah, I mean, that full moon is not necessarily going to be easy. That's a full moon in Aquarius. Now, we are doing a full moon Zoom on Friday, August 16th at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you'd like to join us, the cost is $22. It includes a two-hour general collective reading on Zoom, which is recorded. If you can't be there, that's okay. You'll have the recording. But I also send a personalized mini reading for the next new moon, right? Two weeks after the full moon in Aquarius. So that is on my website right now. I think we're feeling the full moon vibes. I definitely do. Full moon energy is about purging, surrendering, letting go, it's also things being revealed. And I think the conflict at times is what do we do with this energy? Well, what do I do with this anxiety? Like, what do I do with this worry? How do I handle, you know, <laughs> moving myself forward? I think there's so much that we're overwhelmed right now. Now, with that, we have here the hot air balloon. And this is about balance. We want equal giving and receiving. Notice I just said the word freedom a moment ago. Like we want to be able to feel free and stable and good, you know. Uh, this says new perspective and we need some. Like we have to do some things differently because if we want different, we have to do different. And let's take a look at the solar plexus, which is our personal power. And we have the queen of wands. Look, we're really getting these shades of blue. Blue and purple. You know, queen of wands is confidence. It's strutting your stuff. You know, this is that Leo energy, you know, of Leo season where it's like, I'm just going to go do what I want to go do. And I'm not going to worry about what other people are saying, right? It's courage. It's confidence to move yourself forward. So even when we're conflicted about our worth or who we are, you know, we can't, I know it's going to sound silly. We can't worry about that. You got to go put yourself out there. People are going to like you. They like you. They don't, they don't, you can't give much thought to it. You have to just do what's best for you. And that's so hard in this society where we're taught to overgive and worry about everybody. And, you know, we have to think for ourselves. And the child card here says brand new beginnings. And I think that is the brand new beginning maybe where it's like, you know what? I'm just going to be me. <laughs> I'm going to authentically be me and take it or leave it. So with that, we have the balloons. Wow, we're really getting strong energy of, look, freedom. How many times now? Freedom, fun, high vibe, ascension, rising up, relief, higher perspective, attaining goals, stress-free, let it go, independence. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, let's take a look at the heart chakra. What's going on in matters of the heart? Well, look at this blue everywhere. Knight of coins. Well, everybody, guess what? Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins, trust the process. If you know, you know, trust the process. Everything's going to unfold the way it's supposed to. You can't control it. You got to let it just be. And there's the, see, this is the whole thing. It's like there's worry, there's anxiety about trusting, you know, trusting people, trusting situations, the process. It's not even just trusting the process. It's respecting the process, you know? So... Interesting energy. Now, it does say illness on there and stress. And I will say, many people have been telling me lately how stressed they are. They're not feeling well. You know, I get it. And with that, we have headache. I said it earlier, five of swords is headaches. More blue. Communication. Wow. Okay. Now let's take a look at the throat chakra now the throat chakra is blue 
I had that right, correct? Let's see. Root, sacral, solar, heart. Okay, the wrong throat chakra. Just checking myself here. Throat chakra. Okay, nine of coins. Nine of coins is a card of feeling good in your own skin. That's that Venus energy, self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. It's like somebody's got to just speak up confidently. This could be about uh, manifestations, as in like putting yourself out there. Like, what do you want and being clear about it? You know, being all in. It can also be about a commitment. You know, you're deeply committed to something. Now, it can be about commitment to yourself and bettering your life, your situations. It could actually be about a relationship. Let's see what else we need to know. Things are changing. Look, 5-5. Five, five. Big changes ahead. That's Tower Moments. Yeah, 5-5 five, five equals 10. Interesting. 10 is completion, right? Completion of a cycle. All right. Let's take a look at the third eye. Let's check out the intuition here. The two of coins. Okay, two of coins is about making a decision to simplify your life. I ask people this question often, and that is, what is your biggest fish to fry? Like, if I were to ask you right now, feel free to answer in the comments. What's the one thing you need to do right now? Forget about the list of everything. What's at the top of your list? What do you need to do right now that would simplify your life? Hmm. All right, let's take a look at the Oracle card to clarify. Celebration, fireworks, passion. Exhilaration, <laughs> explosive hot canoodling. If you know, you know. Um, let's see. Oh, the <laughs> well, I did say explosive hot canoodling. There's a reason why we say canoodling for those of you that don't know. The way that this card is written over here. It makes you want to say, you know, explosive, hot, uh, you know what. And in, in my TikTok lives, we would always say canoodling to make it more uh, appropriate for, for live, live streams. But uh, here's the bedroom card. Fulfillment, intimacy, pleasure, love affair. Oh, boy. Hmm. Now, I mean, if we're not talking about anything spicy... This could very well be the need for, you know, rest, you know, to take it easy, to get a good night's sleep so that you can move yourself forward, you know. Maybe some of you are not putting yourself at the top of your priority list, and maybe sleep might be one of them. Wow. Let's take a look at the crown chakra. What do we need to know here? Crown chakra is your downloads. Some of you are so tired you're getting messages left, right, and center. How many of you would say you've been having like massive downloads where it's like this is coming at you, that's coming at you? You know, you're almost like trying to compute all the information, you know, or take it all in and sort it. Let's see what else here. What do you need to know? Mm. Yes, the time has come. Culmination of effort. You know, I kind of feel like it's going to sound so cliche, but it's almost like this back to school energy for me. Yes, I was a former teacher. I know I say that all the time, but there's this energy that says right now we're kind of in this bit of limbo and we're about to go back to school for another round, you know, but at the same time, there's this push to finish out the calendar year. You know, we're not in January anymore. We're not thinking about intentions or the beginning of the year, not even just January, the beginning of the year. Now it's like, oh, okay, I mean, like, this is it. This is 2024. What am I doing for the rest of the year? What are my intentions? How do I want to close this out? What do I want to do? Because time is really flying by. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, like I keep saying, the process feels like it's moving slowly. And there's the mother load, you know, and I see this, this map, and I think to myself about exploration you know, it's time for you to be open to new adventures. This is prosperity. This is a jackpot. This is success, good fortune, having plenty, sudden wealth, accomplishment. You know, how else do you achieve the things you want? You know, other than to put yourself out there for new experiences and new energy. It's super important. So let's take um, a couple last messages before we go to see what we need to do in this energy. Hmm. 
Be careful of any distractions. Look at this color of the blue. It came out again. So distractions. Anything that's distracting you right now, you gotta you gotta push it to the side. Don't let the distractions distract you. It's almost like some of you are being tested. Is that is that fair to say? Would you agree? Let me know in the comments. I think a lot of you are being tested. Tested by people popping up from your past. Tested by friends, colleagues, family members, your relationships, where everything just feels very, like I said, overwhelming. And it almost distracts you from doing the things that you need to do. And let's see. <laughs> ask and you shall receive. Don't be afraid to ask for what you'd like. Let me know in the comments. What do you want to ask for? There's nothing wrong with asking. I really hope this resonates with you. Thank you, as always, for your likes, your comments, your subscribes. It really means the world to me. If you'd like to join the Full Moon Zoom or do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing day.